La 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 la. How do I look? Oh, also for the person who called out my bald spot, thank you, but it's just a hair part, slash maybe also a bald spot. City reaction videos. New clothes. <laughs> it's possible I've worn this sweatshirt before. You guys are all like kicking butt right now. I mean, now you're doing the whole modeling thing. I'm like, kicking. I'm not kicking going on here. <laughs> oh, and Sam, you got that amazing burger job and like working at DVF. And you guys are off like in the office all day. And I'm like, are they trying to make us like sex in the city? So, yeah, so that was like. The that's, whole show. That's all Adam would tell us. That's why when, that's why you had to live in the West Village. Mm -hmm. Like he just wanted you to be Sarah Jessica Parker. Mm -hmm. Oh, you guys, Kelly Catrone, my old boss, has a birthday party coming up. And oh. so I wanted to know if you guys wanted to come with me. When is it? <laughs> when is it? <laughs> I wish I could. I'm there. Girls night out. I need it. <laughs> you need it. <laughs> you, you need it. You need it because everybody wants to You need it. it. Hi, Aaron. Hi. Yeah. Hi, I'm Dan. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you? Good, good. Can you just see Scott? Yes. Scott. Yeah. This is Aaron Lucas. Hi. Scott nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. How are you doing? I'm good. Do you think these kind of agencies exist? I mean, like. I'm not too up on like the modeling agency world anymore. With like the just cards all up there and stuff. I don't know how they do it anymore. <laughs> In that year and a half, what have you been concentrating on? Um, I'm unofficially styling all the time. I'm gonna write an official job as a stylist, okay. per se, but... And you um, have good style, so that's good. Thank you. Sure. I've been still searching for about a year and a half, and now I'm really sort of looking for something uh -huh. new. I don't know if that's something you say in an interview. What, that... that you're soul searching? For a year and a half? <laughs> <laughs> I was more thinking about him commenting on her style. Yeah, you don't do that anymore. Either. There is a position here. It's sort of like a production coordinator where you got to be really organized and really on top of stuff. I am OCD to a fault, okay. so that won't be a problem. If you're really committed, it could be something that could, you know, really be very good for you. Well, if I got the job, I can say I would definitely be 100% committed to okay, it. Okay, which is good. Well, he says you're great, and I totally trust her. Okay. Um, I think it could be a really big asset here. Great, thank you so much. Based on the six seconds, I think you're going to take this company I to the next level. <laughs> what was the role? I totally missed the job she just got. Like, head of taking us to the next level. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, my God. What a weird dress. Oh, my God. With the tights and the boots. You're gonna wake our child up with your terrible outfit choice. You have to step back inside of your old self to n tell everyone now what the fuck you were thinking. I mean, I think that flowy dresses were in style and I feel like I was trying to be different with the tights. Like it was a, I was, was new. It was your spin on it. It was my spin on it. I was new to New York. I didn't know how to dress for the cold. Right, right. And I needed to wear right, tights. Right, got it, got it. <laughs> you know? Good, good insight. <laughs> be ready for Kelly. You guys know. don't know Kelly. We've been talking about doing this for a while, chickies. Oh. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Woo! Yay. Cheers. I'm looking forward to meeting her. Yeah, she's pretty out there. Wait, what does that mean? Like, she's just really intense, like really kind of in your face. She'll say exactly what's on her mind. Oh, girl, like, I like people like that. See? Yeah. You either she's, love her or hate her. Exactly. And if she likes you, then she's the best. If she doesn't, you do not want to be <laughs> in with her on a bad day. I'm going to be like, what do you think of my outfit? She'll tell you. Do you like me or no? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like you. That's like always my face I give at the end, like... <laughs> Right? Just like neutral. Like, yeah, <laughs> like maybe, maybe not. I'll never tell you. Mm. <gasps> How are you? How are you? Okay. Not to be my friend. Are, were all her friends here at this party? Yeah, this this is her birthday party, but it's yeah. her and your th two friends. Yeah. Okay, I heard that you're honest and that you don't lie. So tell me, what do you think of the outfit? Um, I get paid money.
Oh Ooh. my God, Kelly, that's like really not something to say the first time meeting someone. This is like Aaron's, like, let's get to know Aaron. Mm -hmm. Breakout. Oh my god, why should he be saying that? Oh. I, do you think that was edited? That she just said that out of nowhere? No, that she got up and left like that. I don't think that was edited. I think she really was upset and got up and left. Me too. Yeah. Ali! Ali, 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 Ali! <laughs> like, go after her, go after her, right? <gasps> They're definitely were like... This is my second time going after her. Sorry, what? She's just... I mean, who says stuff like that? Who are you? I don't even know you. What are you trying to do, bitch? Mind your business. We're having a hard time walking. <laughs> <laughs> this song too? Did Sunny write this song? <laughs> What's your favorite color? What? Yeah, right. No way. This whole Did this really happen? Imply sexual intercourse. She's like, I'm making you a Tibetan tea that I um, found while I did my semester abroad. <laughs> so just let me know uh, next time. I'll shoot you a text or something, and I'll be in touch. Okay. All right? Whoa. Don't <gasps> Awkward. In the vagina. Whoa. That was that's so mine. weird. That's mine. No, JR is my first love. Like, we dated in high school. He was the guy that I would always compare my boyfriends to, and Duncan is the first Has there ever been a lazier JR. beanie? <laughs> this is the laziest of all time. Hi, babe. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. You look so pretty. Thank what you. It's just a little velour ensemble. <laughs> oh my god, did you see how the flats I was wearing with it? <laughs> Well, if you're healthy and you're happy, then that's what matters. For sure, yeah. I can't care about people like her every single day in my life because it's constant. Yeah, I just like have this picture of her face in my head. Are you okay? <laughs> no, but really, are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> it was like a hundred times. <laughs> awkward. So awkward. Our conversations feel so, like, immature. I just want to make sure that you get acclimated to everyone and you're starting to learn the girls and everything because come fashion week, it's going to be very little time to explain everything. It's really like chaos. When you start here, you get thrown in the fire within like the first four hours. Perfect. We're actually having a company dinner party tonight at Macau. If you can make it, that'd be great. Yeah, Macau. It's my first, that was my like first night. I really? I think so. Come get your ride. Come get your ride. Have you ever even seen snow in your life? Maybe twice. That's a lie. I went to school in Colorado. Yeah, I know. But Strange that you're lying to me. Yeah. Hey, hi, uh, remember me? I do remember. How was your birthday party? It was good. It was very good. I'm sorry that I upset you, by the way. It's all right. I really did not mean to devastate you. I just actually wanted to know if you were okay, but I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings. Mm. Oh, did she just look at the camera afterwards? Mm -hmm. That's Scott Lips' chin. Yeah. <laughs> Jay, where's Whitney? She's still at work. Yeah. What? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I'm just fucking stoned. <laughs> Going to parties with models is no one eats. Oof. She shouldn't be giving Ali such a hard time. No, she shouldn't be body shaming her. Mm -mm. 
She's like, I'm an old, weathered fashion girl, so I am a bitch. Right. That's like, she's she thinks like, she can I get away with it. read that this is how I'm supposed to act. Yeah. And so that's how I'm acting. <laughs> He's like, and if you got a problem with that, I'll call, I'll, I'll say you have a small dick <laughs> in front of everyone's face. Exactly. <laughs> Mentality. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Boobies. What? Who holds a pen that way? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, I went with Aaron and Allie to Kelly Catron's birthday party. Yeah. She's like, that's too much, actually. Yeah, I don't yeah, care anymore. Yeah, she's like, remember when I said that work and personal don't mix? She's like, you're an adult. Um, all you're supposed to say is, is fine, and then get out of my personal space. Look at my fan. Don't look at my fan. Don't look at my What wife. is up with that fan? Oh, fan. We went there, said a happy birthday, and Kelly just would not stop about Allie's body. Like, Ali, you've made Ali. Allie. Yeah. Allie is a really skinny girl. You yeah, know? but I mean, it's part of the modeling industry. I don't know what's healthy in modeling. We're in the fashion industry. Everyone always wants to look their best. I think the whole body image situation is so personal. Are you kidding? <laughs> like, you think we have, like, Shamu coming down the runway? Like, no. Ooh. Like, I don't think that's exactly how the conversation went because no, her reaction was choppy. Yes. But, but she, she still said those words. I was maybe gonna talk to Kelly. Just let it go. Let it go. Don't dwell on it. Don't no, I'm not gonna dwell on it. I just. I wouldn't bring it up. Just let it go. I don't know if I can, though. Mmm. Mmm. I mean, not the worst advice from Olivia. To let it go? I don't know. Not the worst, but... But you gotta follow your heart. Yeah, like, I don't think that she was leading me in the wrong direction. I agree. Um, but yeah. Well said. Mm -hmm. Just She's a like, different now, approach. Back to our monitors. Because <laughs> we have to work on fashion. Honestly, I don't understand why Whitney would even, you know, confide in her. She's her. like kind of a mentor. She's kind of a mentor? Mentor. <laughs> just changed this whole event that I'm doing with Helena Christensen, of course. It just couldn't be the end of the year without having to switch dates all around. Can I just say, when they were like, all right, we're going to film at Kelly Catron. She's fashion PR. And I, and I was just like, what? I, like, I don't, I was like, what happens here? Like, what's the business? What are you fucking doing? Like, there's bags all over the place. You have like four floors of this giant, like, Soho building. Like, what are you selling? What are you making? Who are your customers? You knew nothing about what the this. Fuck do you do? Like I had no idea. And then they're like, it's Fashion Week, and like it's time for like who is the guy with the weird shoes? Like an Adam Scott? No, that's oh awful. Jeremy Scott. Jeremy Scott Fashion Show, and like Kelly Catron's doing it. And I was like, she's like unfolding the chairs. Like what the fuck is the job? What's going on, babes? I want to apologize for like running out of your birthday party. What I love you for is obviously like your outspoken nature and how honest you are. But mm, she feels uncomfortable. Really you brought your friend and I hurt her feelings. Mm -hmm. And I would like to say that I'm sorry for that, but I'm not. Okay. Okay. Mm. <laughs> mm. How am I supposed to feel? Yeah. This is an industry. She says if her agency thought that she was unhealthy, that they would tell her. Well, maybe they, they will. Well, they never have. This to me was an alarming situation. This is a new friend. So this is why I'm in a very awkward and uncomfortable position because it's like, where do I step in? The whole point about honesty, it's not so much for other people. It's for yourself. Have you done your part as a human being? We're, we're different people. I couldn't not say something to mm -hmm. her. The truth doesn't always come like a shiny bluebird on someone's shoulder. Well, you also don't have to be a fucking bitch. Yeah, like she could have said something to me and then right. I could have handled it as right. a friend. Like but you don't say that to a stranger. Or like laugh in her face. Yeah. See, that's fucked up because she, like, she's trying to use like honesty, which is good and important to like excuse her behavior. Mm -hmm. But this is how... But this we is don't where see through you, Kelly. Right, and this is where delivery comes into play. Like sh what so she could be... Now we're talking about us. She she's saying the right thing. I mean, Ali um, does look unhealthy, but you have yeah. But obviously, that scene she was making her feel bad for it, not trying to support her. Right. The truth hurts. 